Substantive und Artikel. All German nouns have to be capitalized. There are three genders. Masculine, Feminine and Neuter. The definite articles are der, die, das. Nouns in plural always have the article die. The indefinite articles are ein, eine, and ein. These are the articles for the nominative case. They will change in other cases. Let's look at some examples. Der Baum Der Löffel Die Straße Die Gabel Das Auto Das Messer The plurals for these nouns are Die Bäume Die Löffel Die Straßen Die Gabeln Die Autos Die Messer in German, it is extremely important to always learn the nouns together with their genders, because there is no logical pattern behind it. Memorizing it is the best way. There are still some clues on how to guess some of the nouns' genders by looking at the suffix of the word. This can be very helpful, but be also sure that there are still a lot of exceptions. Let's start with the typical suffixes for masculine nouns. Ich, der Honig. Ling. Der Schmetterling Ent Der Agent Ihr Der Offizier Ismus Der Kapitalismus Ist Der Polizist O Der Direktor Ör Der Likör Icker Der Optiker Ast Der Gymnasiast Ör Der Regisseur Typical suffixes for feminine nouns. I, die Bücherei. In, die Agentin. Kait, die Möglichkeit. Heid, die Besonderheit. Schafft, die Wissenschaft. Ung, die Meinung. A, die Firma. Ade, die Schokolade. Ette, die Tablette. I, die Geografie. Ich, die Logik. Ine, die Maschine. Jon, die Dimension. Tät, die Universität. Ive, die Alternative. Sis, die Dosis. Ur, die Natur. Typical suffixes for neuter nouns. Chen, das Mädchen. Lein, das Fräulein. Tum, das Eigentum. Ihn, das Benzin. Ing, das Meeting. Um, das Studium. Ma, das Schema. Ment, das Element. Et, das Amulett. O, das Studio. Most of the masculine suffixes here are identifications of people, like being a director, principal or a student. To identify female people, you have to use the same word plus the suffix in, just like the word agent. Agent is a male agent and agentin is a female agent. Most of the time, German nouns will change when they are in plural. Here are the common types for their changes. The most important plural suffix for masculine nouns is e. Die Bäume, die Steine. Some nouns get the end suffix. Die Studenten, die Optimisten. Nouns that have the suffix er, l, or n will stay the same, but often also get an umlaut. Die Schlüssel, die Schäden. The plural suffix for feminine nouns is almost always n or n. Die Birnen, die Dateien. Die Ärztinnen. If the singular noun has the suffix in, then the plural has to be written with two n's. Some words will get the suffix e. Die Wände. Die Städte. Words that end on a will get the suffix s. Die Harmonikas. Die Kameras. For neuter nouns, the most important plural suffix is also e. Die Spiele. Die Klaviere. Words that end on r, l, 
or n will not change. Die Messer, die Rätsel, words that end on a, o or y will get the suffix s. Die Autos, die Studios, Newton nouns with only one syllable will often get the suffix er. Die Bücher, die Bänder, 